Today we're going to review part number ALL940962 and this is the power built half inch drive digital torque converter and calibrator. Now this part will include everything shown here on the table, it includes the torque converter itself, it includes this calibration adapter, nice hard rugged storage case for carrying both items and a nice set of detailed instructions. Now this power built torque converter is built to deliver precision readings time after time. This digital torque converter will convert any half inch ratchet just like this into an accurate digital torque wrench. Basically the way to do that is just remove your socket from your wrench and put it onto the bottom. Take your ratchet, insert it into the top and you can see just like that you've changed your half inch wrench into an accurate digital torque wrench. Now this also can be used to calibrate existing torque wrenches if you want. All you have to do is take off your bottom socket there and then this calibration adapter as you can see is made to just install right onto the bottom and then you'll just clamp this into a vise to give you to hold it into place and then as you turn your existing digital or analog torque wrench it'll do either one as you turn it you can make sure it matches what it's reading there so you can calibrate the wrenches a torque wrench you might already have <clears throat> now a few features on this this will display peak or trace torque readings. It will store up to 50 peak torque records for you. It will also measure in five different torque measurement settings. And they're listed right there. In a minute, I'm going to zoom in to show you this better. But at the very top over the LCD screen, it will measure in inch pounds, foot pounds, kilogram centimeters, kilogram meters, and newton meters. Now, if you do it in foot pounds, It'll, the range it will measure is from 29 and a half foot pounds all the way up to 147.6. It also gives you audio and LED torque monitoring alarms to help prevent over torquing. Basically the LED right here in between the two buttons on the bottom there's an LED light indicator. So what happens is when you start to apply the torque that light will light up green. This will show the green and as you get closer to the torque you set it at it will change to yellow. And then once you exactly hit the torque, it'll show red. Same way on the audio, it's a progressive audio notification when reaching your torque. Basically when you start torquing, it'll give off a beeping noise. As you continue torquing it, it'll continue beeping. As you get closer to your specified torque, the beeping will become more frequent. And again, once you reach the specified torque, the beeping will be constant to let you know you've hit it. Now this is made of a chrome vanadium steel construction. On the inside it uses internal precision built mechanisms for lasting accuracy and it also does a, has an automatic shut off after 80 seconds of not using it to help preserve your battery. So what I'm going to try to do here is zoom in to just give you, show you a few instructions on how to operate. So if we can zoom in, there we go, move the instructions out of the way. So basically it has a nice LCD screen right there. You can see the very top middle button, it's a power button if you push it. You can see it comes on, it's showing a peak torque setting, and then it zeroes out. If you want to change it, this button over here says peak and, and trace. You just push it once again, it'll say trace torque if you want to do it that way. If you want to go back, just press it again, it'll say peak torque, and then it goes zeroes out. And then basically, what I was mentioning, if you look right above the LCD screen in very small letters, it'll say kilogram centimeters, kilogram meters, inch pounds, foot pounds, and then newton meters. Right now you see where the arrow is? It's in foot pounds. So if you want to change it, you just take both top buttons and push them at the same time. When you do that, it'll move that arrow across. Now it's on inch pounds. Now it's on kilogram meters, kilogram centimeters, and then newton meters, and then we'll go back to foot pounds. And then the nice thing about that is, as you set your torque uh, setting, you can actually change those and it'll change it to the, that reading also. So basically right now you're at zero, so you want to set your torque setting. You have a plus and a minus button down here. So if you plus, press the plus button, you can see right now we're set at 74.5. If you press it again, 74.6, 74.7. And then if you want to go down the minus button, 74.6, 74.5. So then after 10 seconds, it'll zero out, but you're set at 74.5. And if you want to memorize that, you can just press the memory button right up here where it says memory, and that'll put it into your record as being 
peak number one or peak setting for number one would be at that 74.5. <clears throat> and then the other nice thing is, let's pull it back up. You'll see you're at 74.5. And as I was mentioning, watch if you push the two and it'll change it to inch pounds, which is 894. And if we press it again, it goes to kilogram meters and it gives it in that reading. So each time you press it, it'll give you the measurement in that reading. Now you're back to foot pounds. And as I mentioned, after, it's an automatic shut, shut off after 80 seconds. So once you don't use this for 80 seconds, it'll totally shut down to help preserve the battery. And to manually shut it off, just push that middle button. But that should do it for the review on part number ALL940962, the power built, half inch drive, digital torque converter, and calibrator.